Tommy with Studio Sins here. Welcome fragrance family and friends to another video about fragrance. Now, some of the most popular fragrances out there because it's so super versatile are what I categorize, and I'm just generalizing here, light leather fragrances. Light leather fragrances are some of my favorite fragrances and many people's favorite fragrances just because they're so easy to wear. In fashion, everybody knows what leather is. In fragrance, everybody knows what leather is. And there's so many different kinds of leathers. We're gonna be talking about the fragrance light leather, extremely wearable fragrances, but most importantly, they're extremely affordable. Very inexpensive with maybe the exception of one. And I'll talk about that in the video. But when we return, we're gonna go over these 10 light leather fragrances that you can wear anytime that and more is coming your way so stay tuned welcome back everyone today we're talking about light leather fragrances and it doesn't matter if you're in the middle of a high school during the zombie apocalypse you were just giving off such a beautiful scent let's go ahead and dive into our list of 10 light leather fragrances that are extremely affordable the good news is you probably know most of these the better news is you probably have a lot of them on your shelf right now so Time to dust them off and get them out and reappreciate them for what they are. The very first fragrance that we're going to dive into is from Salvatore Ferragamo. It is an extremely popular low budget fragrance, F Black. I often forget just how good of a fragrance F Black is and that's pretty effed up. It's got some of my favorite components in a fragrance. It's got that apple in the open and you'll notice something guys, apple and leather really do go together. Kind of rhyme too. You've got this nice fruity like higher register note and then you've got this lightly resinous or light texture fragrance note in the background which is you got your apple and your leather so apples usually in the as a head note or a top note and then leather is a heart or base note and they just work really well together you'll notice that in a lot of these fragrances also lavender black pepper coriander labdanum and tonka bean in the base adds that sweetness that makes this an extremely popular fragrance even today 2022 and it's very affordable f black by salvatore ferragamo this concentration is relatively new to the scene but the fragrance has been around for a while it is a mont blanc fragrance mont blanc legend eau de parfum now i opted for the smaller bottle but i'll definitely get a bigger one when i use this up the eau de parfum is such a refined version of that light leather scent that the eau de toilette is if you ever wonder what a masculine floral fragrance smells like it is Mont Blanc Legend Eau de Parfum. You've got violet leaf, jasmine, magnolia, oak moss. There's leather, of course, in the base and oak moss working together to give it some earthy potential and feel. Fantastic office scent, all around great signature scent. Will never do you wrong and has come down in price since it's not quite as new. Legend Eau de Parfum by Mont Blanc. Now this next fragrance is really cheap. It goes for the duo of apple and leather together and makes a very fine signature scent. It is by the inexpensive design house Perry Ellis. It is Perry Ellis for men. Now you'll often see this with like a piece of a belt attached to it. This is probably the more popular bottle you'll find in rack stores these days for less than 20 bucks for a full 100 ml bottle. Crisp apple note in the open. Coming down into the heart and the base is where you get that leather and some other resins. It's a wholly casual fragrance though. You're not going to pay 20 bucks or less than 20 bucks for a refined fragrance, but that's okay. We like our blue jeans and t-shirt light leather fragrances as well. Perry Ellis for men. Our next light leather fragrance, even though it's been around for years, can still be purchased for full retail at Sephora, Ulta. It is a Jean Varvatos fragrance. It is Varvatos Vintage. The bottle itself kind of gives you an idea of where the fragrance is headed with this nice leather band around the middle. 2006 guys, Santalina, Juniper Berry, White Lavender, Jasmine, Patchouli, Fur Balsam, and in the base you've got Suede, you've got Tonka Bean, and a bit of tobacco. Definitely a compliment getting signature scent and a definitely a really nice casual wear light leather fragrance for the office and for anywhere and anytime. Varvados really hit a home run with Vintage. Each successive flanker has been really good, but I always go back to the Light Leather Vintage by John Barbados. Even strong masculine fragrance scents like leather like to go gourmand sometimes. And this particular fragrance is the one exception to the extremely affordable phrase 
that I'm touting in this video because it's just a little bit more. It's definitely worth the money though. For just at 100 bucks, you can get a 100 mil bottle of Stronger With You Leather by Emporio Armani. If you're familiar with the Stronger With You line, you know you're getting that wonderfully lightly toffee gourmand scent. Just a hint of leather in the background. Now that leather grows stronger over time and it's really kind of a light suede more than it is a leather. So it's not really a harsh leather, it's just a really light or blonde suede and it goes epic with this particular scent profile. It's a great cool weather or all around gourmand leather scent. Next up is a fragrance that you would never think of when you think of leather because this particular line is not really a leather oriented at all. It is a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance and it is Le Mal Essence de Parfum. It's actually a light leather fragrance. Le Mal is a lot of things. It's a club banger. It is a compliment getter. It is a signature scent. This particular version though is what I term because it does have that leather in the heart and the base. It opens with bergamot and a roamy chemical called Georgie Wood, which is really just woody, intrinsically woody. It's got some sweetness with cardamom. In the heart is where you get that leather along with osmanthus and in the base, tonka bean and vanilla. Along with like crisp fruity notes, you'll often notice that leather is bound with vanilla right or sandalwood just because they're both sweet and creamy and they knock off any harsh edges of that leather and is taken into the, this nice masculine creamy but lightly sweet territory that is just epically addictive and that is what La Mal Essence de Parfum is. Our next light leather scent is a little bit darker than most of these leathers and it's just all about smelling a little bit like Terra d'Hermes and a lot like a brand new leather. It is Extreme Journey by Michael Kors. Extreme Journey is relatively new, came out latter part of 2021 and not a lot of people are talking about this. I think it's a fantastic leather fragrance. So if you're a leather lover out there, whether it's dark, light or anything in between, pink pepper, patchouli, atlas cedar, leather, primary notes in this fragrance, you just can't go wrong with it. Our next light leather fragrance, similar to Extreme Skies, a little bit darker, a little bit more resinous of a leather, but still falls in that light leather category. And thank goodness for Ralph Lauren because they have brought us a tremendous number of iconic fragrances. This being among them, it is Polo Supreme Leather in the Polo line of fragrances. Now, Supreme Leather is one of the more so good, it's almost gourmand it's leather that doesn't go into the dark or animalic territory. It's a right around the midline leather, similar to maybe like Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. I'm not saying they smell alike, but I'm saying in terms of weight and density, it's very similar to that. It also has a bit of honey along with cardamom, nutmeg, saffron, and of course, leather. Polo Supreme Leather by Ralph Lauren. Another classic fragrance that a lot of people often forget about is by Carolina Herrera. It is 212 for Men. 212 for Men It's one of the earlier magnetic caps. I love this bottle. It is so good. It is a fantastic light leather fragrance, very similar to fragrance that I'm going to talk about here in a moment. But it does have that nice light balsamic powdery backbone that is reminiscent of fragrances that came out uh, when this came out, which was many years ago, and like in the late 90s. It's definitely a 90s oriented fragrance, but doesn't smell dated. Has that nice light leather vibe for all occasions. Very inexpensive. 212 for Men by Carolina Herrera. Our last light leather fragrance that we're gonna talk about this evening is from a design house that's known for making leather products. Really good at it in terms of clothing and in terms of fragrance. It is Salvatore Ferragamo and they kind of remade their flagship fragrance. It is called Simply Ferragamo. Now this came out prior to Intense Leather and aside from Intense Leather is more of a, I would call it a citrus leather fragrance. So it's just this really light citrus oriented fragrance with a nice light, again, backbone of leather in the background. It opens with bergamot, a little bit of spicy sage and lemon. So again, very citrusy. Violet leaf, leather and cedar is the trio in the heart. Oak moss, musk and vetiver in the base. So it's just a basic masculine fragrance when you talk about the notes. But when you wear it, again, it's just a very pleasant, I would say, holy casual light leather fragrance. And again, very inexpensive, very much enjoy it. Wear it for all occasions. Ferragamo by Salvatore Ferragamo. Well guys, that's it for my list of 10 fragrances that are light leather fragrances that literally can be worn on any occasion for 
any scenario for any reason and you'll likely get compliments just because they all smell wonderful because leather, let's face it, smells wonderful. If you've got any experience with these fragrances that we talked about today, let me know what that experience is like in the comments below. And if you feel like there are other fragrances out there, light leather oriented fragrances that belong in this list or maybe in another list, let me know that as well. Share it in the comments below and we'll talk more about it. Thanks so much for stopping by though, checking out today's video. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow. smelled before.